Hi, in this video, we will understand the various aspects of a capital protection fund. As an investor, a major concern for us is that our capital should remain intact. The worst thing that can happen to an investor is a loss on the capital invested. So to prevent capital destruction, asset management companies came up with a product known as capital protection fund. The main objective of the fund is to safeguard the capital of the investor during market downturns and uncertainty. At the same time, provide opportunities for capital appreciation during upturns of the equity markets. The fund does this by investing a majority of the fund corpus in AAA rated bonds, which have a minimal risk of default, while a small portion of the fund corpus is invested in equity and equity related instruments. But you should remember that capital protection funds are close ended hybrid schemes. This means that the mutual fund company cannot sell more than a fixed number of units. Such funds also have a lock in period. So, an investor cannot invest or exit this fund at any time. One can only invest in such funds during the new fund offer period. The reason why these plans have a lock in period is to ensure that the fund remains immune to volatile interest rate movements, which means that any losses due to interest rate fluctuations are averted as the assets are held till maturity. Capital protection funds are available in three different maturity periods. Based on their lock-in period, there are one year, three years and five years funds. Once you invest in them, you cannot withdraw your money before the lock-in period. When it comes to taxation, these funds are very similar to other debt funds. Investments with a tenure less than three years are subject to short-term capital gains tax. This will be calculated based on your income tax lab for the year. On the other hand, long-term capital gains tax, that is LTCG, is levied if the holding period is for more than three years. After adjusting indexation benefits, 20% LTCG is applicable. So, if you have a conservative approach to investing and want to invest in low-risk instruments, then you can choose to go with a capital protection fund. Thank you for watching the video.